If you live in South College Station, you may have noticed a heavy police and fire presence near Lick Creek Park earlier this afternoon. It wasn't an actual emergency, just first responders preparing for one. News 3's Whitney Miller tells us what you need to know if you ever find yourself lost on the trail. I've never seen that many emergency vehicles in one place here. Victoria Bautista says she was startled Saturday when she brought her kids to Lick Creek Park for an afternoon picnic. But after finding out it was only training, Bautista says her fear turned to excitement. We're excited they're doing all the training and getting better at this. Getting better at finding those who wander off the trails and can't seem to find their way back. It's not uncommon for folks to get disoriented and turned around here. Um, however, we like to train and use real world locations. First responders from all across Brazos Valley joined forces to cover the entire 515 acre park to look for a woman who for training purposes was lost in the woods. We'll go through all the incident command roles and the different features to let all the folks get, those, get that practice. So in the real world, uh, when we have an actual incident, all the players know each other and things are a lot more seamless. One of those players is Sonic, a golden retriever from the Search Dog Network who has a nose for tracking missing people. So he's non-discriminating, so he'll find any live person out there. This type of training is really essential. We're here to help um, find that lost person out there. Their best advice? Have a plan, like bringing a buddy or using the mapping feature on your smartphone both of which could help save you. If you do get lost and you're able to make communications out, is try to communicate with our 911 folks. They can try to ping your phone. The other thing is, is that always bring water with you. So if something happens and you get stuck, you've got water to drink and then stay put, don't move. In College Station, Whitney Miller, News 3. If you'd like to be part of the search and rescue group, you're more than welcome to join. You do not have to be a first responder to take part. The group meets once a month.